Turning now to Washington, where the trial continues for Hillary Clinton's former campaign lawyer, Michael Sussman. Prosecutors claim Sussman attempted to use the FBI as a political tool by leaking information intended to smear former President Trump's 2016 campaign and broke the law when he didn't disclose who he was working for. News Nation's Tom Dempsey joins us now live outside the courthouse. Tom. Hey, Ruta Bay. Yeah, today brought even more questioning inside the federal courthouse you see behind me here in D.C. as the prosecution really tries to show jury members that lawyer Michael Sussman lied to the FBI when he brought forward allegations of secret communications between a server belonging to the Trump Organization and one belonging to Alpha Bank, the largest private bank in Russia. Again, today the prosecution spent their time trying to cash, fr cast fresh doubts on those claims. Today, uh, Bill Priestep, the now former, the now retired head of the FBI Counterintelligence Division, took the stand. Prosecutors had him read from notes taken around the time the FBI was investigating into Russian interference in the 2016 election. One note read, Michael Sussman not doing this for any client. That's a very key part of this case, whether Sussman went to the FBI on behalf of the Hillary Clinton campaign after telling the FBI that he actually Acted on his own when sharing allegations that could show collusion between Donald Trump and Russia. This all follows last Friday when the Clinton campaign manager, Robbie Muck, testified saying Clinton approved of leaking the allegations to the media but never approved of going to the FBI. On today, uh, News Nation spoke to James Trusty, the former chief of the Department of Justice's organized crime and gang section, about big questions being asked with this case. I think there's a lot of people that have been kind of blacked out from the attention of this and that have finally turned their attention to saying, you know, what, what was going on with the Hillary Rodham Clinton campaign, allegations of Russia collusion, and I think an important part of the puzzle, FBI collusion. You know, were the FBI victims of false statements or were they willfully blind or, or even open-eyed in their approach to accepting this to use it for political purposes? Another key moment happened inside the courtroom today when prosecutors shared internal messages from the FBI claiming to come from the seventh floor, which is where the uh, top officials come from, saying that officials were really fired up about these allegations showing possible collusion between Trump and Russia. But very important to note, after all of this, the FBI found no wrongdoing with the uh, Donald Trump campaign. All right, Tom, thank you. And we want to bring in now retired FBI special agent and founder of the Aruda Group, Stacey Aruda. Welcome. Thanks for being here. There are all kinds of accusations thrown around in politics, right? You worked for 22 years at the FBI. Talk about what it takes to actually launch an investigation, particularly when information is brought to investigators by political operatives. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, the information is vetted to see if the information is true and then the information would be corroborated and then an investigation would be would be initiated um i had nothing to do with this so i, I can't really comment on this matter but i can i can comment on you know how an investigation is initiated Right. And, and the allegation here is that uh, this lawyer for the Clinton campaign lied, tried to get an investigation going, tried to get a news story. What would be the consequences for that? Well, as you well know, lying to the FBI, um, uh, Title 18, Section 1001, it, it is a crime to lie to the FBI. And if it's proven that he did lie, then he would be liable for his actions. It doesn't matter what the uh, motive was for the lie. So, Really, that's the whole crux of this trial. Did he or did he not lie? Not the reason why he lied. Right. And there are there any similar cases that come to mind when you look at this case? Not off the top of my head. Okay, Clinton campaigners, they make the argument that they simply didn't trust the FBI because of how James Comey handled his investigation of, of Hillary Clinton. And that's why, you know, that the agency was more damaging to her than her opponent was. What do you make of that argument? Um, that argument really doesn't have any bearing in the current trial because the, the gentleman that is on trial right now is... The, the whole crux of it is whether or not he lied to the FBI. I mean, the reason doesn't matter. All right, Stacey Arruda, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank slip, you for having me. Slip of the time. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.